Hey, it's a random pop culture news freak here once again, aka Mr. Randy Warren, you guys are on your Sports channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, B Shoot, Brighton, Odyssey, BitChute, Rumble, Mines, Reddit, just in case the channel gets shut down, Shadow Ban, um, Delete It, Destroy, God Forbid, DDoS or Docs, what have you. Anyways, um, it's first time in almost three and a half, two and a half years at most, at least. I did a chat and breeze, and unfortunately, as you guys tell, Right here, um, I'm not using my shades because honestly, it was just um, out of the wind, out of the blue, out of the thing. Shoot the breeze, shoot the talk, shoot the shit. Sort of um, chat and breeze video I wanted to do with you guys because hey, I haven't done one of you in the longest time, especially when the pandemic scandemic was going on. The last one I actually did was last year or the year before. And that's what the COVID 19 um, fake, um, not real virus was going on at that time. My boy Richie from Boston, KJ, Jacob, all those dudes, Truth Alternative Media Community, they knew it was up. Straight up, they knew, but not hearing what I'm talking about. Just a real quick three to five minute video. Looks like I got 61%. I was an idiot not to bring water because it's still like 91 degrees out, even though it's nighttime. Vegas, man. Arizona, Vegas, New Mexico, and parts of Texas, not the right place to be. Anyways, yeah, it's bounding in the comments. First set photos for Disney's live action Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs remakes are as a distraction as expected. The Spencer, this one comes from Spencer Brugali, 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 however you say his name, let's truly begin. So I'm only going to have the article, not that much, so let's get in. Though Disney is likely looking for a hit to help replace or repair their cinematic reputation in the wake of their Recent output, recently leaks. Recent leaks set photos for the upcoming Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. What have you. Da, 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 suggests that the live action remake is well on its way to yet begin another box office disaster. No bonding comments are kind of like how Doug Serto, Sports Kita, um, what's it called? Reset Era, Indy 100. What the hell else? Um, what else? drama news sites like how um one angry gamer used to be i don't know what the hell happened to them i think they got shut down <laughs> or um how even cycle peter dramatic it kind of is but that one's way worse a lot of actual racists on there and they they, they like to feed in a lot of bullshit drama so and honestly to be real with you it's not legit anyways it's mostly fake bullshit regardless let's continue this is uh, obtained by the uk production company click news and media and shared by local news outlet, the Daily Mail, on July 14th, just two days ago by the time you guys see this. The photos provide the audience with their first glimpses of the, probably gonna butcher this fucking word, never seen it before, eponymous Disney, I think it's Eponymous or Eponymous, Disney Princess's se seven icons companions. Those Snow White and Jonathan Robin Hood esque character replacement. For the prince can also be seen in the photos they are being portrayed by stand-ins rather than their respective actors shazam fury the god star rachel zegler and under the banner of heaven actor andrew bernard yeah like i said before in that last video i talked about literally just a day ago literally just yesterday by the time you guys are watching this it'll be yesterday because <laughs> i'm doing this in the same day i'm doing this night <laughs> I know she's gonna be a badass chick. Absolute badass awesomeness. Kick fucking ass. Cream of the crop. Amazing actress when she does her action thing for the Hunger Games. Ballad of Song Birds of Dance. A song Birds and Snakes. I know she's gonna be knock that shit out of the park like no. That shit I'm mainly watching for Peter Dinklage and Viola Davis. Those two do just kiss. Badassery. It's a beat, it's a bop, it's a slap. They do positive, awesome kick ass performances every time those two do a movie. I haven't seen a movie of Peter Dicklish in years. The last time I saw him was he did that movie with a fake documentary, fake <laughs> mockumentary thing with Zach Galaganafis from The Hangover. That's the last time I saw him do a movie for Peter Dinklage. I think it was like 2014 or 16. It was a while back. <laughs> it's been like nine, ten years last time I saw him. Let's continue. There goes the picture. <laughs> They look straight up like clowns. Their costume designer did the shittiest job ever. I'm sorry, but that fucking sucks ass. Two dumps way down if I could do that. <laughs> Depicting the film's core of 
setting the protagonist walking through the field as the most notably noticeable aspect of the behind the scenes shots of the fact the so-called seven dwarves are anything but rather than they are now su suitably in diversity diverse in appearance with their heights running from the gaumet hopefully i'm saying that gaumet or gaumet however you say it from a singular actual little person that the being and the pirates of the caribbean franchises martin kleba kleba or kleba to the various average sized humans let her go <laughs> hold on fucking things coming motorcycle motherfucker come on there we go there they go there it is not that long ago see like the only one i can see convincingly kind of like a dwarf is the dude back there that kind of looks like he came from a jesus bible movie and uh this guy right here the rest they look like they came from pirates of the caribbean that robin hood mixed with <laughs> quest for camelot that and uh some other film i don't fucking know uh Handmaid's Tale, at least. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter shit. That, the other two look like dwarfs. The other ones look like they came from a whole other franchise. Let's move forward. Sorry I'm out of breath. I haven't done this in like two and a half years. You got to forgive me. Further, the visual diversity also sends it a group of immutable traits such as their skin tone, skin color, and gender. Rather than being a uniform group, uniform group of white male dwarfs, uh, shared attribute and form by the original German folklore, Snow White Saviors also now include a black man and a woman. Hey, they want diversity inclusion, even though granted most of them sadly, not to sound like I'm a racist or a bigot, but a lot of blacks and Arab Middle Eastern peoples and even probably some Asian dudes, a lot of them were slaves during that time period. As fucked up as that is. But of course, Disney wants to completely avoid that shit like they did with the Little Mermaid and look what the fuck happened. It is what it is. I know it's historically inaccurate. I know they want to push for this political bullshit ideologies and inclusivity and diversity. When I was a 90s kid, this shit would have been cool to me. It's far too late now. So, Disney, <laughs> you, you shot yourself in the foot with this again. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like I don't. It's like that meme. But how many times are we going to keep teaching you this lesson, you old fucking man? Anyways, though the cast list of the groups of Mary Forsman dwellers has yet to be fully revealed. Disney has thus confirmed that the aforementioned, aforma, aformator, aforementioned, Kleba will be played by Grumpy, will be playing Grumpy. Well, actress Donova Gift will be making her cinematic debut as one of the black female newcomers, Maple. All right. Notably, these characters are originally fairy tales. Sources of the materials were prompted by the public Criticism leveled towards the film's production of X-Men Days of Futures Past, starring Peter Dinklage. I remember him in that movie. I forgot about that. I'm glad they brought it up in Bounty Commas. Just kiss on the freaking journalism actors, activations. <laughs> Sharing his thoughts with the titular, titular host of the WTF with Mark Barron, podcast in January 2022, the actor explained, quote, it's Mr. Dinklage's words, not mine. <laughs> Absolutely the biggest thing I think he's known for is mainly for uh, Game of Thrones, mainly. <laughs> Says, but about, well, you know, it's a really progressive cast, so literally no offense to anyone, but I was a little taken aback by their very proud to cast a Latina actress, Hispanic actress, I remember it was like Renee Zellweger, I think that's what her name was. Oh, Rachel Zegler. <laughs> actress of Snow White, but you're still telling the story of Snow White and to the Seven Dwarves, so blank, 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 dot, dot, dot. And that's pretty much it. What about thoughts, views, and opinions, though? Yeah, quick thoughts, views, and opinions on this shit. It's gonna be a fucking disaster, bro. No question, no doubts about that shit. It's gonna bomb big time. Not in a good way. It's not gonna throw a bomb, but it's just gonna get review bombed into a fucking oblivion. I have a feeling a lot of the critics, a lot of the ones that are CEO, CFOs, fake activism diversity inclusivity inclusivity fucking SCW and cancel culture bill yeah and the whole LGBTQIA non-gender and binary dudes they're gonna rejoice and love the living crap out of this thing unfortunately there's nothing I could do to change their minds this is how it is it is what it is ain't what it ain't anyways um one other thing I will say 
They're probably going to be a shit ton of crappy, garbage-ass CGI. It's like what they did with Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and The Flash. I still want to watch the Blue Beetle one. I know that's probably going to be crap, too. But I do remember him in the Injustice 2 Gods and Bungus game. And not to mention, he was in that Injustice League 2001-2002 cartoon animation series. So all I got to say for now, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Links to description box down below. Cartoon size, nothing else I want to talk about extra. Oh, I guess with the... <laughs> One small thing I could say is that my boy Meat Can, he actually did a video on the whole thing about the e-girls and thoughts of how they're taking over TikTok and they're saying all these ooh, ooh, gaga, coconut, coconut, ice cream, ice cream, stars, stars. I don't know why they're doing that stupid shit. Seriously. That's all I got to say for now, ladies and gentlemen. Gone. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, families and fingers of soccer. I'll see you when I see you guys. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're out in the universe out there. Stay tuned for future content. Share good video game industry news, like manga news, which is drama news, Elon Musk news. Sometimes, once in a while, celebrity gossip news, and of course, as always, um, reaction reviews. Once in a while, like this one, not as much. Peace out, I'm Lacey Alcott. Lacey, bye. See you on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm gone. Stay safe. I'm out later.